know, over the holiday season, many of us will hit the ice skating rinks as a Christmas tradition. Health experts say that is a terrific way to get some exercise and work off all that rich holiday food that's coming and that we just ate. Here to talk a little bit more about those health benefits is Dr. Robert Need. He's a sports medicine chief, Kaiser Permanente Mission Bay. Good morning, doctor. Good to have you with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, skating is uh, a very aerobic sport, uh, and if you don't believe me, go, <laughs> go out and try it. I, I was back east for years, and uh, I tried out for a hockey team, for a celebrity hockey team. I went up and down the ice, and I was done. It is a workout, <laughs> isn't it? It really is. It's actually one of the most complete exercises that you can do. It's great cardiovascularly, as you mentioned. You can expect to burn two to 300 calories an hour. It's kind of the equivalent of jogging or bicycling. It's a great muscular exercise. You, know, you have to use your core, all the muscles through your lower body. There's a lot of flexibility involved, good mobility for your joints. In fact, it's great for your balance. Even just standing on the ice is going to engage your core, tone up your muscles, and improve your balance both on and off the ice. You know, you if you're just out there having fun, you might not even notice you're exercising too because you got a big smile on your face. Right, yeah. You're with, uh, with your girlfriend or your wife just kind of having fun, having a hot cup of cocoa. It is kind of, you're kind of sneaky exercise. You're getting exercise but having fun. That's a good thing. That's uh, exactly right. Uh, can you overdo it though? Well, of course you can. And, you know, there's a couple of things that we think about when we want to make sure that the vibes are good and everybody goes home having a good time. So one is to know your limits and come out a little bit warmed up. You know, playing hockey is a little bit different than just going out for a recreational spin. It's a good idea to wear warm clothes. We know that you are at a greater risk of injuring your lower extremity muscles and tendons and ligaments if you're cold. Along those lines, it's good to wear gloves too. Of course, that ice is cold. And if you're worried about falling, you might wear some wrist braces. Those have been shown to help prevent injuries when you're ice skating. Yeah, it, the ice is hard too. We we all <laughs> we all is. find that out. Um, well, I love to work out. Is ice skating is it's joint friendly, really? It, unlike running, where you're kind of pounding, it's kind of like skiing, where you're you're getting working that core and that kind of thing. So a nice alternative. That's absolutely right. So we consider it to be a low impact exercise, um, but unlike other low impact exercises you might do such as swimming or bicycling it's still weight bearing which means it's great for your bones it's good for preventing osteoporosis and that perceived exertion is a little bit less you know, you're certainly going to work up a sweat but you won't necessarily feel like you're exercising in the same way well let's talk about that sweat and uh, mental health there's something about a good burn on skates or skis that really uh, it does the mind and the body a world of good yeah certainly the holiday season is a stressful time for all of us uh, we know physical activity of any kind is maybe the best thing you can do to alleviate stress and then elevate your mood. Additionally, ice skating is social. It's outside. We know that being out in the fresh air is good for your health and mental health. I mean, who doesn't go ice skating and leave with a big smile? <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's, it's just great for your mental health. Well, as we mentioned, that, uh, that ice surface is hard and somewhat uh, unforgiving. How about some tips on just staying injury-free if you're heading out that way? Yeah, I mentioned the wrist braces and the gloves. That's a good thing. I think, you know, that surface out at Union Square is a little bit rougher than maybe the freshly Zamboni thing. So, again, be careful about what you're doing. You're going to get a great exercise just from standing up and the social benefits of just being there. So don't worry about trying to do figure skating laps or do too much. All right, but go out and have a little fun and get a little exercise. I know Walnut Creek's got a rink, uh, the one in the city, so uh, there's plenty of opportunity out there. Kaiser Permanente's uh, Robert Need, thanks for uh, the information and your insight, sir. We appreciate it. Yeah, have fun. All right, have a great holiday, doctor.